Hey guys, Will Faustcuber here, and today I'm going to be teaching you the Orozco method for corners on 3Blind. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how commutators and conjugates work. So here's a commutator, and what this actually means is <coughs> it has a set of moves, then a comma, and then another another set of moves, which in this case is just CU, and, uh, and what that comma means is that you do this set of moves here, so r prime dr, then you do u, then you do these set of moves backwards, so r prime d prime r, and then you do go back here and do this backwards, u prime. So then in reverse, uh, in reverse, you you pretty much switch these two parts of the comma around. So instead of r prime d prime r comma u, it's u comma r prime d prime r or r prime dr. Um, so you do u, r prime, dr, then go back to here, u prime, r prime, d prime, r, and that reverse. It. Okay, now let's talk about conjugates. So conjugates uh, are similar. So with conjugates, there's a set of moves, which in here is just the l, and then there's a colon, and on the other side of the colon, there's another set of moves. Uh, and so what we do is we do the one uh, on the left to the left of the colon first. We do L. Then we do all these moves, which is actually a commutator because it has a comma here. So R prime D R, and then U, and then we go back here. R prime D prime R, and then we go back here. U prime, and then we reverse the L with an L prime at the end. Then to reverse a conjugate, you... Uh, you pretty much just you leave the L in like the same the same way, and then but then the rest of it on the um, on the other side you have to uh, you have to reverse what's on the other side of the colon. So I pretty much just reverse this commutator here. So if I do L and then U R prime D R D prime R prime D prime R L prime, and that's how conjugates work. Okay, so now, uh, so just like old Pachman corners, Orozco solves one piece at a time. Um, so what you do is you just memorize your corners normally, and you use the EUFR, uh, which is the letter C in the SPEF scheme. <coughs> you use this as your buffer. <coughs> and also there is no setup moves or like a swapping location. Like there was with old Pachman, uh, but instead there's just commutators that solve each piece no matter where it is. There's an algorithm for, for each location. So now let's talk about the rules. If a target comes first in a letter pair, then you execute the commutator like normally. If a target comes second in the letter pair, then you execute the com in reverse. Um, and then if uh, UBR, which is right here, which is the letter B in most cases for people, if that comes first or second in a letter pair, you just do nothing and you just skip to the next target. So that's nice. Um, so now let's go over a quick example solve here. So here's the scramble. It'll be up on screen. Okay, so so here is our memorization, and so the first thing that we have is FUL, uh, which is the letter I in most cases. So this comes first in the letter pair, so we do the commutator, or actually it's a conjugate, we do it just normally. So we do R2 and then D. R prime e two R D prime R prime e two R and then R two and as you can see that's all this piece. Then we go here to V, uh, which is D F R, and this one we have to do in reverse. So we do the R two like normal, <coughs> and then we reverse this conjugate though here. So we have to uh, pretty much flip these two around on either side of the comma. So we do. R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, D, 
R2, U prime, R2, U, R2, D prime, and then we finally reverse that R2 at the beginning. So that solves D. Then we go to X. So uh, for this, it's that's DBL. And we do an X rotation, and then we do this is the first in the letter pair, so we just do it normally. D2, R prime, U prime, R, D2, R prime, U, R. And it solved it. Then for uh, UVR, then we have. Well, then, then we have a new cycle, so I put the new cycle over here at the letter B, which is UVR, and remember, for this, we do nothing, so we just leave it. Then, we go to the next one, which is DBR, uh, W, over here, and uh, this one, we just do normally, because it's first in the letter pair, so R2, and then R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, and then D prime, uh... R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, D, and then reverse that R2. Boom, and it solved it. <clears throat> and then the last one we have is second in the letter pair. It's Q, which is B, U, R, like here. And for this, um, <coughs> it's second in the letter pair, so we do it reverse. So we just <coughs> do this algorithm reverse. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U, L. And... That solved it. Now let's talk about parity really quick. <clears throat> so you can figure out your own like efficient parity algs if you want, but I'll just show you like uh, the basic one that I use. So if I just do a T term here real quick, then as you can see for the corners, we just have this goes here to B, which we just do nothing for, and that's it for the corners. Uh, then for the edges though, uh, if we're using M2, then we're gonna go. Uh, we can start a new cycle because this buffer solves. We start a new cycle at B, then we go D, and then we go back to B. So BDB for uh, edges, which is odd. So we have parity and just the letter B for corners. So yeah, those are both odd, so we do have parity. So first, let's do the edges. So we do B, and then B, D, and then back to B. Now for this, most people do D prime L two D M two D prime L two D for their parity alg, uh, but what we're actually gonna do is do D R two D prime M two D R two D prime, and then we do go to onto our corners, which is just the letter B. Uh, so that means we have to do nothing uh, for the entire corners. So what we do then is the parity algorithm, uh, which is just U prime and then an A A prime so, or no a J A prime. So, and yeah, that's it for the parody. That's it for the whole tutorial. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed. See ya. Bye.